Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to change the paper settings on your Epson EcoTank printer. Now, um, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do this on an EcoTank 2860. However, um, this pretty much applies to any EcoTank as um, I'll be showing you methods such as through the app and physically. And most EcoTanks tend to use, tend to actually either look exactly the same as this or they'll use very similar hardware and or very similar firmware. So some of them will use the same app, which is the HP Smart Panel app. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So what do I mean by um, change paper settings? Well, um, you may want to change the size, the opacity, or pretty much anything about the paper. And you have a good few um, ways of doing this. Now, the first way I want to explain, because I don't have it in front of me right now, is um, if you have this added to your Microsoft device um, or Windows device, you, uh, as, it, as a normal printer, you can do this directly in the print dialog and those settings will be sent to the printer um, in the kind of print configuration. Um, however, I'm gonna be showing you how to do this through the app and on the device. Now, one of the physical and first ways to change the paper settings on this printer is to make sure that the paper guides are working correctly. So I'm going to turn the printer to its side and show you how that's done and what I mean by that. So here is the back of the printer. And if I pull open this flap, you'll know these, you'll notice these two things. Now, when you first got this printer or a similar one, um, you may have noticed that these were pushed together. Um, and you might be wondering, well, what are these? Well, these are your paper guides. And essentially, um, if you're using normal A4 paper, and if you're American, I believe it's 8 or 8.5 by 12 or something like that. But if you're using normal paper, you'll keep these fully open. And this will essentially guide your paper down into the printer. Now, let's say you're printing with um, smaller paper, like A5 paper. Um, sorry, again, again, Americans, I'm not too sure what that is uh, in your in your lingo. But that paper needs to fall into the printer perfectly. You can't just put it in there with nothing guiding on either side. So um, to set the correct settings on your paper, you may need to actually hug it with these print um, guides in the back. So if you're printing the normal size paper, which most things in the world are printed on, then you're gonna wanna make sure it's fully open. Otherwise, start to squish it together a little bit. Um, for me, I'm printing a four paper. So I'm going to keep it fully open and yeah, let's turn the printer back around. So the next way of changing paper settings is going to be when you're doing uh, functions and features through the app itself. Now, um, I'm not going to go through all of the functions and features, but they all have the same menu and same options. So um, and I'm referring to the copying feature and the print feature. As you can see if that focuses so you can see my printer is connected now you, like i said you're going to need the epson smart panel app to access a lot of these things um, now if you're having issues with your printer you can click on the actual printer icon itself and maybe cycle through a few of these settings these might help you but we're changing paper settings and um, the settings you'll see over here are the same um, as you'll see on other ones so let's say you're going to copy something. Well, you're going to want to click the copy tile. Now, your menu may not look like this, as when you set up the app, you were given the option between two menus. I chose this one because I'm Pat and I like this. Um, but um, you can click the copy icon over here. And um, within here, you'll be able to decide quite a bit of options about your paper. You'll be able to uh, uh, write the paper size, um, the print quality, whether you want it to be multi-page, um, you'll be able to enlarge and think, change it to like double-sided, you'll be able to change the density and the um, color settings, whether it's black and white and or in color, and um, you can change it. So for instance, in size, you can change it to letter size. So yeah. That menu that you saw there is the same when it comes to printing files as well, such as PDFs. Um, and also you get that option for scanning documents too. And when you're scanning documents, you can actually change the file type and whatnot. Um, so yeah, 
that's it for this video thank you very much for watching i hope that helped solve your issue if you have any more questions please leave them in the comments below thank you very much check out my channel i have more content about epson uh, ecotank smart printers available so yeah thank you very much have a good day and bye bye